Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast. Um, I have done quite a bit since last episode, and one of the big things is work on my automatic tree farm. Um, it may not look like much right now, but that's because it hasn't started yet. All I have to do is go into my turtle, type in auto tree, and then ask me how many trees, and say I want five, I type in five. And it goes to work, and it starts planting them. And then it will bone meal it, and it will cut it all down. Um, I programmed all this myself. It wasn't actually too hard. But once all this gets chopped down, and it gets the top, and it comes back down, it will come over here, empty into this chest. And if it needs to refuel, it will re refuel from this chest. And this chest is a placeholder for bone meal. Yeah, because um, I haven't had I haven't had time to put in the bone meal because I don't think I'm gonna put more than 64 for the um, number of how many trees. And right here is where they'll get split up. I can probably do this better, but I haven't yet. Again, this this is this is a this is just a simple version, a really crude form. But oh gra gosh, the sun setting. The um, wood will come out of here, go into this diamond pipe, and I'll just take this for now, and I will make, I think the ratio will be one to one, so I'll probably put one to blue and one to red, so that half will go to um, the furnace and half will just stay as wood, and that will be like my power for starting off. I'll have an, an infinite amount of charcoal, basically, because... It will be dumb. Charcoal will then power the turtle, which can plant more trees. And the only thing I need is bone meal. And I found a skelly spawner over there, so that is really easy to get. And the saplings you get for free, too. Okay, here it is. It's almost ending. It digs down. Almost there. It goes over here. And if you look, look in here, empties it out. And then it goes back, and it um, it sleeps for three minutes, so that it gets time for the leaves to decay, so that it can bone meal it again. And what I'll do when I make the um, actual thing, I'm, I'm going to make this into like a factory type building, and this will kind of resemble a giant steam tower, which I think will look cool, and I'll put like fire jets at the top. But, anyway, I'll, I'll expand this out, so then the leaves will all fall into here, and what will happen is I'll have obsidian pipes down there. And eventually, I'll have a chest probably below for saplings, so it can. This thing will basically run forever then, eventually. But for right now, it's not very much. Uh, over, over here, what some changes that happened to? You probably saw that I built a rolling machine. I haven't used it yet. But yeah. Oh, I must have ran out of charcoal. I was gonna use the gold for some gold pipes. But today, what I kind of want to work on is converting the skelly spawner into an actual farm. And probably start building the factory. So I'm going to get all supplies ready for the skelly spawner, and I'll see you then. Hello, guys. I am here at the spawner. And I think the type of uh, trap I want to do is a fall trap. Because that I, I think that's just a really good one. It's reliable, somewhat, and I don't. I don't want to use lava because that can affect lighting. Oh yeah, I don't remember what I got in these chests. There's some silver in that one. And I put that in there. I know I got an enchanted book from these, but uh, the charcoal that should be able to be a really nice power because each stack of charcoal is. I don't know, it's 4,000 times 64. I don't want to do the math right now. And th that's a lot of EU. Jeez, that scared me. Probably shouldn't put them on the walls because I need to dig this out. Yeah, I might, if you notice that I just um, click out, it's because I'm, I'm looking at a diagram for a fall trap that works really well. It's very, um, very efficient, I think. 
and simple to use. I I also want to um try to use soul shards too. Those interest me because then you can make spawners. Look at all this mossy cobblestone. I've like never seen this this much. I'm probably gonna run out of picks, so I'm gonna might have to go back and get another one. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to go back, but I think I might. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna make a nine by nine room is what I need. And this is what it is already, so that's good. Oh, he spawned right when I took the torch away. What a guy. This no, I need to extend that I need to extend each of these walls out one. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, there has been a slight change of plans. I went ahead and finished a spawner quickly. And I decided to make it a lava blade instead of the fall trap because I th it'd just be a lot easier to build after thinking about it. So now I can get bones like crazy. And what I want to do now is attach an obsidian pipe there so it'll automatically pipe into a chest so I can just like AFK up here and I won't lag at all. But yeah. Finished skelly spawner completed. So that's good. And I'm going to go uh, collect resources like a ton of... I want to get a ton of marble for the factory because I want to use marble for the factory and maybe some stone brick and stuff. So I'll see you guys once I have all those materials. Okay guys, I am back and I collected some resources just to get the factory laid out. I believe spawn is that away and the village as you can see is over there. I expanded this out quite a bit, so it's 14 by 14 now. I think that should be big enough. It better be. And this this building is going to take a ton and a lot of resources because I want to make it like 100 tall to support huge trees that it can grow. And each one of these layers is a stack. So if you do the math, that's 100 stacks. And I'll, what I'll probably end up doing, what I am going to end up doing is putting marble like strips maybe every four or five layers so I won't need that much marble so it will look something like this uh, I probably shouldn't have done it like that but I'm gonna use fir wood because we're we're growing fir, fir trees so it matches and the only problem about fir logs you can't make them to micro blocks and I decided that this factory is going to be a charcoal factory so most of the wood is going to go just straight to charcoal. Because charcoal might be... I'm probably going to use it as my main source of power. Which would be really cool if I could just do everything charcoal. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly update you guys on what was happening. and I'll probably finish building like the first layer off camera. And then getting everything set up. Oh yeah, I also got the... Um, obsidian pipe connected, so the saplings will appear in here. Oh, right now it's just sandstone, so as you can see, it goes all the way down. And in the middle, I'll walk over here. You can prob, you can see an obsidian pipe down there if you look carefully. Yeah. See, I don't think this doesn't look too bad. I don't. I don't think. If you guys have any other color suggestions, then just tell me. And what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a giant square right there. And then I'll probably have a giant, like, rectangle, I would say. Or this is a square that goes straight up, and then a rectangular building off the side that processes everything. And that should, this should be a very, very efficient charcoal factory. And I'll probably add more, more things to it. Like maybe a wheat farm underneath or something. I think that'd be cool. But I get so much wood. I already have 32 stacks of wood just for running it like 10 trees yeah I've been running it and it's it's really efficient although I probably should I have to up the sleep time on it because um, the leaves they don't all they don't all the way to spawn so yeah because then the bone meal doesn't go around it just gets screwed up 
I the, the, I think coal will be able to last me for a while though. Oh. <laughs> okay. I can probably put this all here. Whoops. Is it gonna be able to reach you? Yeah. Dang it. Okay, yeah, it looks it will look like that and I can just peek in there if I want to see it. But it, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Okay. I'll probably have to break this to get over here. But yeah, I'll probably finish building most of it off camera and I'll When it when it when I have all this working, I will see you I'll see you guys then I guess. Hello guys. I am I'm just gonna um, well, I want to make a quick storage upgrade. I'm going to go straight to an MFE, but I think I need to make a low voltage transformer too. Where is it? Right there. Okay, that's not too hard. I have enough rubber. Okay, to make a MFE, you need four energy crystals, a machine block, and two, four two times insulated gold cable. Two times insulated gold cable is just made by going like this. And one in the middle, and you get four there. And I already have some iron cooking up. Just let's wait for this. I want it to be perfect even number. Come on. But I decided to make the jump to straight to MFE. Pretty much because I don't like using a lot of rubber for the um, bat boxes. I know that's probably not the best idea, but <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Then for the um, energy crystals, you you want to use your rubies because that's the best. I'm just gonna throw these in here for now. But you want to use rubies so you don't waste your diamonds. And like this. There you go. And the MFE is just put everything together. And you got yourself an MFE. Where is it? There. I'll probably need to make some glass fibre cables. Okay. Well, now we need to make a low voltage transformer to actually connect everything. So that's three copper, two copper cables, and four wood. Copper cables, I don't think. I need two rubber. Just cooking some rubber. I, need, I should make an extractor. That way I can get more rubber. Okay, I thought I had some more. Okay. I just need two, I think. And then three copper. I have copper right here. I just found it a dungeon. Three copper. Four wood. And two copper cables. There we go. Now to make low voltage transformers, I want to use electrum, so I need to get some silver dust. Do I have any silver dust? No. I have silver. I think I only need two silver, so I just need that. I have gold dust, yes. Where is it? There you go. Do I have any? Just wait for this while we do that. I'm gonna go get the glass wherever it is. Ah, uh, there it is. There's a lot in here. Because um, electrum gives you eight instead of the usual. Four, I think. And Electrum is just made by using gold. I think I showed this before, but gold and silver. Ooh, you, you get... Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that's cool. It's always good to have extra stuff in there. Come on, Furnace, go! Oh yeah, and then I made a disk drive, too, to store all my programs in. And a computer. I want to make also a computer room that powers the factory. Like I can tell when to turn it on and off and stuff. I think that'd be cool. Almost done. Okay. I can get diamonds really easily now, thanks to um, my turtles. Okay. Diamonds, electrum, and glass like this. And there you go. Eight glass fiber cables. Okay, so... 
Now I need to make a wrench too, so I need two tin and six copper to make bronze. And to make bronze, you go like this. Oops, sorry. One, two, one, two, one, two, and then go like that. So it's three copper to one tin. And then. Wait, how come I only got four from that? What the heck? Oh, okay, you only get, I mean, you only get two, okay. Yeah. I was thinking differently, never mind. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two. There we go. Oh, I only need one ten, but never mind. Okay, so then to make them wrench, you go like that. And there's your wrench. Because I need to break the generator. Oh, nighttime. Let's sleep. Yes, and I will probably make a house next to my factory. Oh, if you notice, it said giving one of electric jetpack. I accidentally had it on cheat mode because I was messing around in creative. But I don't have an electric jet jetpack. I promise you that. But whenever I go into creative mode, I always run on cheat mode because it's a lot easier. Okay. I don't think I need to really use up this power. That's that much power. Okay. So... I'll probably put the generator... I'll probably move all this stuff over. Dang it! Oh no, okay. I thought I lost that. I didn't. Um, I'll draw the dirt. Okay, I'll probably move all this. Uh, this is just a temporary house, but... um, Actually, you know what? I'll do... I'll put it back here. I don't have an axe in me, I'm sorry. Or a shovel. They all broke, so I'll just use my fists. Okay, so what I'll probably do is put the generator right here. Um, put it up here so then I can connect everything. Uh, where's the generator? Right there. Generator up here. MFE back here. And then I think if I throw some coal in here. Yep, power in that. Okay. And then low voltage transformer back here. Okay. That's, I think the output has to be on. Yeah, like that. And then I can connect everything with glass cables. Don't want to use my pick on that. Okay. This is probably definitely not the most efficient way of doing things, but... Oh, do you... I, I don't think you need to connect them to bat boxes, but you might need to. I'll do that later. Er, wait. That might be the input, actually. I might have to go change that. Crap. Oh, it's down there. Dang it. There we go. Okay, there. I'm not actually sure how the low voltage transformers work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we can just put this wood back here. And there we go. Why is, is, it, is a macerator backwards? Or is that how it always is? I don't know. Okay, so now if I can plop this in here and I'll get a ton of power. And I'll probably end up making another one for over at my factory. Maybe an MFS. What do MFS use cost? It's you. They cost Lapatron crystals, which require lapis and circuits, so... Yeah. It might take a little bit before I get that. But, um... Yeah. I'll probably go work on the factory some more. I did add. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go show you that, actually. 
I added the flooring to it. I'll, I'm probably end up going to change this to um, oak logs. I just didn't have any on me. It's just placeholder still. And I changed that to marble. And then I'm going to make this rim marble. I don't have any on me right now. Oh, I have the stone brick on me. I was going to use that. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be the end of the episode, though. So, leave suggestions in the comments of what you want me to do with this factory. I know I'm going to use it for charcoal, but anything else that you want me to do with the wood. Maybe wood pulp, I don't know what the heck that does, but... I will. I'll see you guys later. Surprise! It is not the end of the episode. Because I have a little bit that I want to show you guys. You can probably tell, but... I've changed quite a bit of things in here. Well, not really changed. I've just added, I should say. I have a barrel full of wood logs. Almost a barrel full of saplings. About a half a barrel full of coal. And some's cooking right now. And what this does is it... I have to put the coal in manually right now. Or I can flip this lever. And it'll pump out of this. And then this is... I This is just really all horrible setup right now. But this pumps out the coal. And pumps it into this barrel. And then right here is my generator setup. I have six generators, and if this, the, I'm pretty sure each generator generates 10 EU per tick. So if I have six running, that's 60 EU, which is quite a bit. And if I put in my jetpack, I fly up here, and to my MFE back here, and this thing's completely full. And what I'll do is I'll output that and have my machines and all my other things that need power right there. I also made an advanced computer. I'm still working on this. I don't understand it that much. Um, monitor parts of it. And then here's just my old computer right there and a disk drive. And then I added a couple more layers. Oh yeah, and I made a chunk loader. You can see that this it loads all these chunks. Does it even load those? Nah, but this lets it so that I can leave and this thing will still run took me cost me an ender pearl for that but that is basically all I wanted to show you guys and I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a FTB episode in a while but I will try to upload them more frequently now and I, I guess now I will see you guys next time bye